Okay, so why don't consumers trust brands anymore? There's been uh, quite a few surveys done recently uh, globally, and um, the results are pretty consistent. Uh, less than half of all people say they don't trust companies, and more than 80% of people say they don't trust advertising. And when you think about it, advertising is the voice of companies. And so this is a real problem if you're in business because it's basically saying that people don't trust capitalism anymore. So that's a pretty big uh, claim uh, and it's dangerous um, and it's been happening for a long time. Uh, it's not like a recent uh, trend. When you think about it, our parents were watching TV commercials that featured doctors recommending camel cigarettes. Um, they were watching um, ads and looking through magazine ads of um, big fancy new cars of the 1950s and 60s that looked fantastic and uh, had sex appeal and uh, you weren't a successful man unless you drove a Chevy or a Cadillac and yet they were so dangerous they killed people in minor accidents. Um, and then later on we saw that uh, our favourite sports shoe brand was um, employing slave labour in Asia. Um, and then of course more recently there's all kinds of dramas with banks and uh, oil companies. You know, you see a, a TV campaign for a, a friendly oil company and uh, promising that uh, you're their most important uh, thing, that their, their whole company is designed to keep you happy uh, and that they are responsible for the environment and they care. And then they have an oil spill in the Mexican Gulf and they totally stuff it up. And, and, and what we've learned as consumers is that what companies say to us in advertising and, and in PR is different from how they really behave. Like we don't trust their motives. Whether it's a bank uh, doing a big campaign saying we're the happy bank and you're our number one concern and then we find they've been hiding fees from us. Or whether it's an airline that shows sexy planes and um, friendly staff and happy passengers and then you see a, a YouTube video of them throwing someone off their plane. We don't trust them. And that's a real problem because now uh, we, the consumers, have a way of sharing that. In the last 10 years with the rise of the internet and social media, we now have a way of sharing our real experience of brands and companies instantly and globally. Um, and so that's, um, that's dangerous. And what, what has happened therefore is that telling the truth is not so much just a fluffy cultural value anymore. Telling the truth now is smart business. Like you can't get away with it anymore. Even if you don't believe in the truth as an ethical philosophy for your business, um, you're just stupid if you don't embrace it because you're going to get found out. So um, what's the answer? 